Welcome back to Character Select. So we're talking about Jaya. Your only thing sock has a machine. Yep. Um. Um. No. Fuck. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm ready for my grief counselling. I emailed you Mariana's address. I don't know why you'd want it. I suppose you're going to start doing home visits now, like Dr. Of Decker? Of course. Wait, did we even ask for Mariana's address? We did last last time. Okay. You're asking like, about uh, home visits. Yes, Dr. Decker started doing home visits for Mariana. He said she couldn't concentrate properly in his office. I hope you're not thinking of doing the same thing. I need you right where I can see you. Um, why? Yep, all right, so let's switch back right. to Mariana. Decker's home visits. Dr. Decker suggested home visits. I thought you didn't have I a home. I think he was probably checking up on his investment. His You're what? not thinking of doing home visits, are you, Doctor? His what? Investment? Aren't we all your investments, Doctor? All the time, all the energy you've invested in us? Sure, but... Seeing how we're doing, making sure we're growing correctly? Growing oh correctly? God. He called it aversion therapy. Whenever I felt the urge to go to the sea... He would do something unpleasant. Oh, yeah. And uh, okay. ask, her, ask her about the uh, uh, invest. Oh, that's no follow up. Yeah. Um, well, I guess something she unpleasant. I don't know what you'd call it, but it was unpleasant for me. What the no fuck did up. Decker do? <laughs> um, oh, that's right. She was... We have to answer whether or not we want to do home visits. No, I don't think home visits are necessary. That's good. I'm not sure I can afford any more of your time. Oh, dear. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Do they follow you to the shops? No, not shopping. Yes. They said the, okay, there we go. Finally got her to green. That was a stupid final question. Yeah. All right. This is a hilarious delay on the responses and the sound. I'm uh, fine. I'm ready for my grief counseling. Grief? I emailed you Mariana's address. I don't know why you'd want it. I suppose you're going to start doing home visits now, like Dr. Decker? All right, let's follow through on this Mariana stuff. Doctor, if you don't want it, don't text me and ask for it. It's all right. Wait. I don't mind doing menial tasks We for didn't. You. Okay, Someone now you're right. Them. We didn't. I didn't ask for Mariana's address. Well, maybe someone sneaked your phone during a session and texted. I know they all look innocent, but if it's not nailed down, there's a good chance they'll walk away with it. You know, I used to have an iPad. And a Surface. They stole your desk? Oh, a Microsoft Surface. That's stupid. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Isn't the Surface, what? like, dead now? But there's no follow-up to that either. Actually, like, no, the Surface... Yeah, the surface is apparently pretty popular. Um, okay. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm, yes, I'm. Dr. Decker started doing home visits for Mariana. Concentrate? He said she couldn't no. concentrate properly like, in the office. I hope you're not thinking of doing the same for thing. It. I need you right where I can see you. I yeah, can that's... see. Where you can see me? Checks and balances, Doctor. Somebody needs to be watching the watchman, so to speak. Make sure you're helping, not hindering. hindering? Who watches the watch? He probably did his fair share of helping and hindering. He was definitely helping in the beginning, but then seemed to lose sight of things. 
I mean, these are obvious questions. I think he was so overwhelmed by the patients he was getting. His curiosity just got the better of him. That sounds familiar. There was a definite turning point. Somewhere around the time Professor Alderby turned up, that seemed to unsettle oh, him. No. And then we had a flood of extra weird patients. I think it was all too much for him. I think I misjudged him. I hope you deal with it better. Misjudged him? There's just a lot of crazy flying around, Doctor. <laughs> Don't catch any of it. I think we're a little late on that. <laughs> oh, boy. Um... So the other follow-up from how are you doing is grief, yes, but there's Dr. something Dick else here. Yes, started doing home visits for Mariana. He said she couldn't concentrate properly in Concentrate his properly. I hope you're not thinking of doing the same thing. I need you right where I... Yeah, let's see, concentrate properly. Honestly, I think Dr. Decker had a bit of a crush on Mariana, or vice versa. I'm not really sure. There's some footage from their home sessions if you want to see them. Yeah, actually, I would. That was a joke, Doctor. I guess we found our level. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I, I... How was that a joke? I think it was right. implied that the home footage was porn. Sex video. Oh. Yeah. Grief is such a strange word if you keep saying it. Grief, grief, grief. It sounds like somebody's being whipped. And you're going to ask me how I feel today? I did. <laughs> um, also, I'd like to point out that when a word starts to look weird, it's an actual thing <coughs> called semantic satiation. Okay. You have seen something so often that you are now your brain doesn't recognize it as a thing. It's trying to uh, unconcentrate from it. Yeah. Um, how are you today, Jaya? See, I did. Fucking. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean I was competing. I was happy Mariana was going out with him. I didn't want to be romantic with him. We had a stronger connection than that. Stronger connection. I'm going to ask a question that kind of just occurred to me, but it's been on my mind for a while. That's a strange question to ask. Are you feeling all right, Doctor? Yes, I'm feeling all right. Have you been taking notes in our... God damn it. Um... Now I don't remember what she said when I said, do you see Mariana's competition? <laughs> God damn it. Sorry, I didn't mean... I, was I don't know either. I was happy Mariana was going out with him. I didn't Stronger want to be... Connection. Stronger connection, that was it. Dr. Decker and I shared some philosophy. We'd both read The Cult of the Kinetic Mind, and we agreed with a lot of what it said. Have you read that book, Doctor? No, I haven't read that book. In Cult of the Kinetic Mind, the author suggests that everyone is capable of psychokinesis and that the cult leaders specifically had these powers that turned their followers into disciples. It's not a fun read, but if you're into psychology, it's a blast. Uh, also, we need to ask her what about... What is psychokinesis? Uh, hang on. Mm. We need yep. to ask her about the uh, being fired. I don't know. Oh. I was a bit of a shoulder to cry on for Nathan. Oh, there we he go. told me a lot of things about Dr. Decker that I probably shouldn't have heard, and I'm not about to repeat to you either. Why? What did he say about me? Um... That you were fired. Yeah. Ah. There's no follow-up. Um. Uh, kinetic, 
cultivokinetic might have on his second. Yeah, we have to actually ask this. Psychokinesis, by the way, is the ability to move things with your mind without touching them. Technically, you move everything that you move with your mind because your mind controls your body and that moves it, but shut up. Psychokinesis is the ability to change the physical world without actually touching it. Just by using your mind, it's not just about bending spoons. It covers all sorts of things like telepathy, telekinesis, no, it yes. telesabalas. Shoot me, I'm a Kojak fan. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is telesabalas? I don't know what Kojak is. Or does. Nope. It's... <laughs> Like I said, all those cool things are in Cult of the Kinetic Mind, apart from Kojak, obviously. If you ever get a patient who thinks they can change the world with just their mind, then duck, just in case they can. But seriously, do a whole load of shrinking and make them better. Whether you believe in psychokinesis or not, you'll need to figure out your approach with those that do. Hmm. And let's just say Kojak, because that's not going to be a thing. Kojak, uh... Kojak was a show on TV back in, like, the 70s, 80s. And they revived it with, uh... Ving Rhames as the lead. I have no idea who that is. That's... You know the black guy from Mission Impossible? No. Well, never mind then. Um... <laughs> I don't... <sighs> I don't really watch movies, so I can't... Tired. I'm trying to think of where to. I'm, I'm doing the same bloody expressions as Jai has right now. What are you doing? I honestly think that you're curing me with all this grief counseling. You know, we don't really have to talk about Dr. Decker from now on if you don't want to. We had a connection, but it's gone now. Yeah, that'd be the. All right. Ask her so, about. Oh, no. Okay. What? We've, Ask her about we, what? We've already followed up on that okay. somehow. Cult of the kinetic mind. The everyone, is everyone is capable of psychokinesis. Everyone is capable of psychokinesis. Yeah. And that the cult leaders oh, everyone specifically is capable. had these powers that turned their followers into disciples. It's not a fun read, but if you're into psychology, it's a blast. Everyone is capable of psychokinesis. No. Dang it, I misspelled. Capable. No, not at all in my experience. Dr. Decker had an unusual number of patients who claimed psychokinesis. Either he'd been specifically looking for them or someone had been sending them. It's entirely possible that someone is targeting this practice with psychokinetic patients. To what end, I don't know. It's no coincidence that most psychokinetic patients are diagnosed as insane, or at least temporarily insane. It's a handy diagnosis if you're facing criminal prosecution, especially if it's for murder. Are you implying something? Yeah. Weren't we just talking to Claire, who wanted a temporary insanity plea? Yeah, and we gave it to her. But yeah. I think she is, so you know. Um. Like I said, all those cool things are in Cult of the Kinetic Mind, apart from Kojak, obviously. If you ever get a patient who thinks they can change the world with just their mind, then duck, just in case they can. But seriously, do a whole load of shrinking and make them better. Whether you believe in psychokinesis or not, you'll need to figure out your approach with those... Approach, approach is the final fucking word. How do you make people who think they have special powers better? Do you remain passive and support, encourage them, take them away? Uh, this is another I one think, of those decision points. Yeah, encourage, take them away. I think we should take them take away. Take them away, oh, right? Yeah. For sure. That's what I'd try to do. And then she was about to say something else, but stopped. <laughs> I think they forgot to cut the camera there. Hey, how's Ben doing? Uh, 
<laughs> Ben's the guy that discovered Dr. Decker. I think that's yeah. all settled now. We are agreeing to pay Ben £5,000, and he's agreeing not to say anything <laughs> about what he saw. What? 5,000 pounds? I don't know any. <laughs> you fucking know everything about that. You I've settled it. Ah, we have to rewatch it. <sighs> I think like, he literally settled. Now. We are agreeing to pay what he saw. He thought he saw a creature coming oh, out of the okay. doctor's mouth. But at least that's the reason he's given for not emptying the bins that night. Either way, it's not the kind of publicity that we need. Shiny, happy, sane people. Oh no, we're going to no ask about that. That's a str Creature out of Decker's mouth? There's no follow-up, bro. Okay. Uh, God damn it. Oh yeah, oh. where were you on Valentine's Day? I didn't go out for Valentine's. I was at home. Day and Wait. night are different things. By Actually, the way. I did come up to the office at about nine. I'd forgotten a USB stick that had some files I was working on. Why were you working on files if you were fired? I think you'll find that. God damn it. Say you were working, but you were fired. That's not something I. I know. You you say you were fun. Uh, yeah. It's not gonna work. No, yeah, no. as far as I know, That's Marianne was the only patient that Doctor Decker did home visits for. Hmm. Why are on our ass about it then? Let's ask about this USB stick. I was cross-referencing the patient files for Dr. Decker, and I copied everything onto a USB drive. I was terrified it had all gone missing. Can you imagine the trouble we'd get into if the patient files suddenly turned up on the internet? He wanted me to look up birth mothers and other family tree information. It's like he was seeing if all of his patients were descendants of the same line. Well, spoiler alert, they weren't. <laughs> okay. There's still something there. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure I out what to be. I was referencing the patient files for Dr. Decker and I copied everything Family onto tree. a USB drive. I was terrified it had all gone missing. Can all you imagine the trouble we'd get into? Terrified. If why the was she terrified? Files suddenly turned up on the internet. Well, trouble. That's why. I don't know. Every nope. I. <sighs> yeah, that's what I asked. No, you said files, research not Decker. Research. What's good for one doctor is good for the next. They don't throw out the old TARDIS, do they? What? What? Doctor Who. No, the time I know. Is... I... But she was fired, not Decker. Why would she need to prepare the files for the next doctor? If the doctor was staying and she was on the outs. I... Okay, that is weird. All right. So we'll have to come back to that because there's nothing to follow up on there. I didn't go out for that. That's okay. That's why we have the hints. I was at home... Uh, what did you do on Valentine's Actually, night? I did come up to the office at about nine. I'd forgotten a USB stick that had some files I was working. 
Nine. Yeah. I didn't see anyone else. I didn't hang around. It's just a USB stick. I got in, I got the data, I got out. I'm basically special ops. <laughs> Day tripper. Wait, what is that achievement? Um, really eight awesome. hours. We've played this game Midnight. for eight David fucking hours. Good lord. Sure doesn't what, feel like it. What were you doing on Valentine's night? Yeah. <laughs> That's what she was doing. She came to the office around nine. No, you asked... It said day. You, you, it said night. You specifically said day. Yeah, see, it just okay. brings it up there. Hint cool uh. down. There's some interesting stuff here. There's some weird... How can cult leaders turn forward? Let's just say... Followers and disciples have a very strong tie to their cult leaders, almost like they've been brainwashed. The author suggests that this is because they've witnessed some kind of psychokinesis, like pyrokinesis or telekinesis. I'm... Do, uh, there's no follow up. We don't have to ask about those. Thank gosh. Yep. <laughs> I have no idea what they did and when they did it. I'm happy to keep it that way too. Cool. Um, what other ones do we have here? Grief. Grief? No, I haven't read that book. Everyone is capable. And where were you on Valentine's Day? Hmm. I can work from home if you want me to. Is that what you're asking? There's lots of bookkeeping to be done. You'd be surprised. Do Mary... Fuck. I thought that was a good question to ask, since she apparently does the bookkeeping. Yeah. Which patient claims psychokinesis? Most of the patients you're seeing have claimed some kind of psychokinesis. If you don't think that's the case, then they just haven't told you yet. So they're using the term psychokinesis incorrectly. They're saying that it's if you think it hard enough, it happens in the real world. Like, oh, if I want to repeat this day forever, then I'll just repeat yeah. this day forever. It's it's not psychokinesis very specifically means you move things with your mind. There's psychosomatic things that can happen when you're crazy enough to believe your own shit, but. I'm happy for you to tell the police whatever you want about me. I mean, who needs trust in our work environment? What? Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Or well, maybe it's because it's been so long since we heard her. Yeah, I mean, it kind of comes and goes. Decker did send me to see his mother once. She was dying in a nursing home and he didn't want to see her. I mm -hmm. remember him calling her a manipulative evil old hag. You tend not to ask any more questions <laughs> after that. Manipulative evil old hag? Have you been taking notes? Ugh. So we've at least confirmed that Elon is making that stuff up. Are you into psychology? Yes, psychology. I think you'll find it's relevant, Doctor. <laughs> Is this psychology or psychiatry, though? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm... Who do you see? I, I, I assume you see a psychiatrist from uh, insanity and mental... Like... I mean, if you look up the differences, I think this is psychiatry? Yeah, for sure. 
but oops that was a strange thing to say wasn't it whipped am i all whips and chains in the bedroom or dominant in the boardroom don't answer that it's not a question it's early days for a harassment suit yet what with ben's nervous shock already <laughs> that greens her okay so we got one more guy hang and then on, we'll hang be on. able to She's still talking because of the lag oh i'm sorry <laughs> good yeah all right so we got one more person this uh prof warwick dude who looks like just a ball of fun once he finally shows up on the screen yeah he's wait. not on the screen yet wait a minute who are don't you? touch my books you bastard those are my books you're breaking the spine yeah i hate i hate that all right, so next time on Character Select, we'll talk with this guy in End Act 3. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And space. Jaya seems pretty normal, but pretty crazy yeah, at the same what, time. And what, what, like, what is this guy doing with his glasses? Being a dingle shit. Much like the rest of our patients. <laughs> <laughs>